You want to you want to bounce over for a minute? Talk a little bit of Google. Yeah, let's do that, man. What what happened? So, yeah, I love that. I love that. So look, um, <laughs> the market for whatever reason is selling off tech right now. So you know, it's one of those where the numbers are good, but the reaction wasn't particularly good. But all of tech is. I don't know. Uh, I mean, SAP did pretty well. Well, actually, that's a great a great call out, Pat, is that SAP did well and IBM did well. And we'll talk about that. But it's kind of like these older enterprise seven. tech value companies are getting a bit of a tailwind right now. And the sort of mag seven companies we've seen NVIDIA on a, you know, a two week, three week straight downturn. Google put out good numbers downturn. Um, and, and, and it doesn't entirely make sense. But you also have to remember what a run up that we've had. And so there's been a lot of kind of sell the news. But if, if we want to just kind of stick to the, you know, we want to try to not guesstimate why the market does what the market does. I mean, gosh, there is some crazy political things going on right now. We've got a lot of uncertainty for the White House. We've got a lot of uncertainty about legislation, law, policy, uh, inflation, interest rates. There's a lot of things that impact the market other than just the earnings themselves. So, you know, if you want to just look at the earnings, look, good growth on the revenue, strength in, in net income. It was up 28 percent on net income. You've got um, YouTube revenue up, but it didn't hit the mark. But Pat, this is where I'd like to double click. Cloud revenue, 28.8% growth. They're killing it. They're absolutely killing it over at Google in the cloud. They've completely um, re been re reborn in the era of generative AI. Google had that. We've talked about it for the longest time with the uh, AI and data and, um, and ML cap capabilities that they've had out the gates. It was kind of like that moment they needed to sort of reboot. They've won a lot of unicorn customers. They got a lot of the big customers using their parts and pieces of their platform. By the way, something you and I want to spend some time better understanding is how every cloud provider has every unicorn um, because I think multi-cloud is a real thing. And so yeah. AI has actually accelerated the move to uh, multi-cloud and that's been a great thing for Google because of its strength in AI. And now they're not only growing really fast, Pat, but they're really profitable. They delivered a billion dollars of bottom line profit to the company, um, which, you know, uh, two years ago, they weren't delivering anything to the bottom line. It was one of those things where quarter after quarter, Pat, you and I kept saying like, it's a good idea. They got some good revenue, but are they ever gonna make money for the company? And now they're making money. So they've got innovative products. They've got a good growth of customers. They got strength in cloud. You know, I want to leave a little oxygen in this one for you. The only thing I want to kind of kick back about Google that's sort of interesting is the fundamental technology that's going to power Google between the TPUs and the actual technology on the silicon side and the um, technology, you know, for search itself. Do you, are you in here twice? Am I seeing you twice? Yeah, I got no idea why. Just, cool. um, just, just ignore it. Okay. Yeah, cool. my, my browser, it, I mean, this has never happened before. My browser decided it wanted to update. Uh, Great. That is amazing. You look, Thank you. you. Look good. Thank you, Microsoft Edge. I, I do appreciate that. Yeah, well, you got to keep you secure. No BSOD today. Um, so, what I was kind of getting at, though, is the fundamental technology. I think you maybe heard, we didn't have it on the docket this week, and we probably should at some point, is this new Search GPT product is the whole search business is just ripe for in, uh, d disruption. And so we thought this when this whole Bing thing and OpenAI and ChatGPT came out, it didn't really move the market. So there's yeah. this kind of really strong fundamental pivot going on that is the search business, which is the core business of Google, which is super important, is it safe? And I've been saying for a while, they're changing the business, they're moving to generative, the, mar the market and economic models are so different. I do think there's going to be a lot of thought about that because Alphabet, Google's well-being. So it got its cloud stuff together. It's got really good technology in the TPU uh, and its generative tools to build capabilities. It's had some questions around some of its Gen AI product throughout the, the launch periods of time, but it continues to get better. And that's showing up in the numbers. But what the future of search looks like, that's an interesting discussion, Pat. But let's uh, maybe have that another day. Yeah. So uh, sorry for the technical glitch there, but... Yeah, I mean, to, to me, the, the big story was Google Cloud and, and how it's doing. So I, I completely agree with you, Dan. And quite frankly, I don't really care a lot about the, the ad business or the YouTube business or, or anything like that, because it really doesn't relate to uh, uh, what I do for uh, a living. Um, I, I think Google 
um, has this immense opportunity, uh, even in the future, uh, to move beyond some of the whales that uh, that that they bring in, and that's the the seminal challenge uh, for for the company. There is most of their revenue is driven by very large uh, SaaS companies um, and who don't do their own infrastructure. And, and you know, that, that doesn't mean Google doesn't get what I would consider classic enterprise. They just get less than AWS and what, what, what Azure get. I, I do think, and, you know, this is going back three or four years. If you remember, Google's land and expand was all about data. Right. This is before the generative AI craze, and they had some of the best data uh, management tool, just even like Spanner and stuff like that, uh, was was really uh, world class. And AWS was really the machine machine learning darling, uh, and uh, Azure, right, heavy duty PaaS and and a, and a lot of SaaS. They're just starting to, in my humble opinion, get super aggressive uh, on IaaS, but. Now that we're in this age of generative AI, uh, even though, I mean, they had some major stumbles, right? Bard 1, wow. Bard 2, wow. Gemini 1, uh, you know, and most of those were consumer punches in the face uh, and con- controversial uh, from that point of view, but it bleeds over into, in, into the Google Cloud part. And they've done what I think is a very fine job. I mean, if you look at Vertex AI, Vertex uh, AI uh, to me is one of the simplest to understand, and what you know I hear from enterprises one of the simplest to um, operate. Uh, that doesn't mean that uh, Azure AI and and and, and Bedrock are not uh, are not fine products, but that's the feedback that 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 I've been getting. I really do think at some point the TPU. Uh, will show to be an incredible investment. Let's just say that a TPU on a per token basis is half of ex- half as expensive as as Nvidia. Think about the cost savings uh, that you can put in there, the potential advantage at a minimum on a cost basis. Even if you look at uh, Google SaaS versus Microsoft SaaS uh, uh, products uh, and and product lines there. And it also, to me, if done right, uh, helps solve their potential, the doom of Google search declining, which is really the funnel for uh, most of all of their profit dollars, maybe with the exception of uh, of YouTube. But uh, yeah, I mean, the risk, it's so funny. Initially, when these Gen AI tools came out, they, they were so bad and, and like you had to check every single source to see if it was accurate. Like if you wanted it to help you, you know, do a week in Spain for, you know, $200 a day, it was, it was amazing. Uh, but to do things like even financial analysis and even, uh, you know, perplexity. Um, and I, f- I forget, you know, maybe you were the, you are maybe Ben Baharin, I forget who first started talking to me about that. I don't start any of my searches, Dan, um, on 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 Google Search or or Bing. I want to go right to the source. Now, my my type of searches, I'm not looking for a website typically um, for you know simple queries like when was somebody born or how old are they. I'll I'll stick with uh, Bing or Google. Um, but but for anything, you know, guys, 99 out of 100 searches uh, right now. Are on uh, are on perplexity, um, and yeah, I am interested to see this new Chat GPT search uh, capability. But but I I think it could start to get very risky for Google, um, and, and it's funny when you are the dominant player in anything, you're going to have something out there that um, is able to do better venue for, for, for many reasons. First of all, there's no legacy with the uh, GAI, generative AI search. Uh, the second thing is you don't necessarily need to make money. Uh, what did people say? How much money uh, was uh, OpenAI going to lose this quarter? $5 billion? I think it's the uh, year, but yeah, it's a lot. 
for the year. So, so you don't even have to make money. I mean, you can lose a boatload of money where Google search, that is where most of their profit dollars uh, are, 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 are coming from. And, and the other thing, and this is a subtle thing, but you know, Dan, I'm a product guy. I can't help myself is it's also the implementation. There is not a specific application as an example for iOS, for Gemini, Google Gemini. There is a Google app that you have to pivot or press a button to get to Gemini. And I, and I am aware that you can do a Google search and sometimes it will uh, leverage uh, Gemini for, for one of these snapshots, but they're not even anywhere nearly uh, as, uh, as good as that. So hopefully uh, those were some insights and uh, adders to what Dan had been talking about.